Can you tell me the difference between a reverse cycle air conditioner and an evaporative cooler? Reverse cycle air conditioning uh, has got a compressor outside. Uh, there's a fan coil inside. We're cooling or heating um, refrigerant and passing that up through copper pipes up into a coil. That coil is either heated or cooled depending on what setting it's on. And then we're passing air that's taken from inside your house across, the, across this heating or cooling fan and back into the home. So it's like a, it's like a fridge. You actually, it is cold. You put your hand in there and it's cold. Um, and like in your fridge, the walls of the fridge are cold, everything's cold. In your home, the chairs are cold, the tables are cold, the curtains are cold. With evaporative cooling, you're taking air from outside the home, uh, increasing the humidity, which has a cooling effect, and delivering that through the home and out, out through the home. So you're getting a cycle of fresh air in and out, as opposed to recycling the same air through the house. So that's why the difference of living in reverse cycle air conditioning or living with evaporative cooling, if you're living with reverse cycle air conditioning, it's about locking that air in and allowing the air that you've already conditioned to pass back through the coil and continue to cool. So it, it's a cycle, so it keeps taking the same air back across the coil and, uh, and delivers it back to the home. So when you're cooling, you're taking air down in steps. So each time it passes across the coil, it gets a little bit cooler and keeps delivering that to your home. With evaporative cooling, you've got to get rid of the hot air. So it's about opening the house up and letting the air flow in and out. A, a very different um, feel in the home and a very different way that you live with, with both types to make them efficient and effective.